answer, I will. I will. They got married on the steps of the U.S. Supreme Court on the anniversary of a ruling that paved the way for their marriage to be legal. We've had some challenges, but together, it's, it's absolutely like worth it. Michelle Davis and Barton Corbett Leatherwood wanted to exchange their vows on the anniversary of the Loving versus Virginia decision. That landmark case legalized interracial marriage more than 50 years ago. They had initially postponed their plans because of the pandemic, but then she changed her mind. As a symbol. With so much going on in the world and June 12th approaching, it's like, why not do everything we could? to make it happen and just spread love and awareness to love wins no matter what. I was over the top happy, uh, surprised, very surprised, and then we just said, okay, let's make this happen. You may salute and kiss your bride. You wouldn't know it, but this all came together in just two days. From the gown and tux, hair and makeup, to the special Love Wind shirts made for their friends to wear. She started inviting people just Wednesday night. Two of my friends who were here, they immediately started booking their plane tickets. They flew in yesterday, and the rest of them, they canceled everything and showed up for us. And so, again, it's really symbolic of what happens when you pull people together in love. It's been a very exciting and rewarding emotional and great experience. They're not going to have a honeymoon in the middle of a pandemic. They're going to spend their wedding night continuing to fight for equal rights. Black Lives Matter. They traveled from the court to Black Lives Matter Plaza where they joined protesters who've been demanding change after the death of George Floyd at the hands of police in Minneapolis. Like I said, it was just something significant about doing it now in the midst of all of the protests right. and the movements. It's, it's, it's a message of, of gratefulness, of hope, Indeed. and of love. In Northwest, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Congratulations to them. You know, they streamed their ceremony live, so family members who couldn't be in town to watch could watch. The newlyweds plan to take their honeymoon in Europe when it is safe to travel.